So with custom white balance, you're basically telling your camera what white is and the lighting situation that you're in. And by doing this, you're overriding what the camera thinks is white so that it can adjust all the colors to read accurately. With using a gray card, since the camera knows the card is neutral in color, the camera can then make this calculation accurately. And the process for setting the custom white balance is pretty simple. Once you scroll to the custom white balance preset, have your subject hold the white balance card up so that the gray completely fills a circle in the middle of the frame. Then press the center button so that the camera can record that info and then produce the colors to properly set your white balance. You then choose which of the settings you want to assign that custom preset to. And keep in mind that this works in video mode with Sony's a7 III, but with some of the earlier models, you have to switch to manual mode to set the custom white balance and then switch back to video mode and select the custom preset to which you assigned that white balance.